on the move again. What's up guys? I'm on a roll today. This is my fourth video that I've made today. Whew. Just feeling inspired, you know. Uh, I wanted to say something about health and wellness because I've been working out a lot and I've been drinking nothing but alkaline water, eating good food, feeling great about it, soaking in all that good melanin. And uh, if you're trying to reach a goal fitness wise you're trying to lose weight none of these little you know uh, five or you know six month programs they don't really work I mean you might get results but they're not permanent you might lose a bunch of weight but as soon as the programs over you go right back to your old habits and you gain the weight right back so my advice when it comes to working out and losing weight is decide on something that you can bear to do for the rest of your life. Don't try and get instant results because they don't last long. It's just like all these little get rich quick things. They might get you rich quick, but <laughs> they don't they don't keep you rich very long. So when it comes to working out and stuff, it's not hard. It's not a matter of not knowing what kind of exercises to do or what to eat. Everybody knows if you're trying to lose weight, you run, you do cardio, um, you know, you keep that heart rate going, you do supersets, you just keep your body active, find a hobby that you can enjoy, like a sport some kind of active hobby that you really really enjoy that you can do every single day or you know as often as you can that will help you get in better shape and it's not all about just losing weight um, I'm focusing more on just being healthy rather than losing weight and the you know the weight the weight goes with it I've lost I've lost probably 20 pounds over the past month, well, I've lost, I know for a fact I've lost 15 pounds of fat in the past month just by drinking alkaline water. I cut out sugar, I cut out wheat, I cut out dairy. Sugar is like the number one cause for acidity in your body and lack of energy and fatigue, and sugar can cause depression. It, it's, I mean, most sugar nowadays is artificial sweeteners, which are also neurotoxins. They're absolutely terrible for you. They cause cancer and they cause weight gain. They cause fat gain. So cut out that dairy. Dairy will instantly cause congestion and constipation. And constipation means slower digestion slower digestion means slower metabolism and you want your metabolism to be going as fast as possible so you want to cut out sugar cut out dairy we all we all hate gluten and um, cut out alcohol alcohol is a huge huge it's a big one I cut out alcohol and it changed my life and uh, you know, cut, cut back on the carbs. I've basically been eating nothing but protein, vegetables, and just a little bit of fruit. You can't eat too much fruit because it causes acid. And uh, that's how I've been able to, you know, be successful in seeing results. So, like I was saying, you can't just choose one of these little get in shape really quick things or the wraps or all these supplements that really don't work. Um, they really don't work. If they do, it's only temporary. Most people end up gaining the weight back, to my knowledge. And I've never really had success with any of those things. I had success whenever I decided to change my life completely. Completely. And change my diet permanently. I don't plan on going back to sugar or dairy or wheat or gluten. I don't. I'm not going back to that because I see the benefits now and I don't want to go back to where I was. My body feels a lot better. My mind's a lot a lot clearer. And uh, I got better brainwave function <laughs> and everything. I feel a lot better. And uh, 
you know, most people sacrifice what they truly want, which is being in shape and having a great body so they can like themselves more for eating the donut or the, the pizza or the burgers or the french fries. And all of those things are amazing and trust me, I would eat them if they weren't so unhealthy because they taste delicious and they're great, but they're too unhealthy for you. If you want to see results, you have to change those things. Stop eating those things you know you shouldn't eat. Another thing is um, don't eat You know, after 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at the latest. Make sure because if you eat with a bunch of food on your stomach and then you go to sleep, you know, it slows down your metabolism and it, that, that, yeah, all the sugar and carbs will go straight to your body. What I've done is uh, in the past in the past uh, 20 days, 20 days, I have cut out all of those things, gluten, wheat, dairy, sugar, caffeine, alcohol, and my, it puts your body into a state of ketosis. Whenever you cut out sugar, if you, if you don't eat any sugar, I mean any sugar, even from fruit, for seven days, your body goes into ketosis where it stops looking for external sources of energy and it starts looking at your fat for energy. It will start burning the fat off your body. It will start eating the fat off your body without you having to do anything. And that's called ketosis. So seven days, try eating nothing but protein and vegetables, no sugar at all, no wheat, no dairy, no, no carbs. And it'll put your body in a state of ketosis It'll start burning fat cells instead of looking for external sources. Now, in the first week, it's going to drain your energy quite a bit. You're going to want to sleep a couple extra hours. You're going to feel a little bit lazier. Some people request, uh, recommend not even working out during these times because of how, how low you'll be on energy. But after that week's gone, it'll start uh, you know, burning fat for energy and... That's how you get rid of that stubborn fat. You don't get rid of stubborn fat by just working out. You have to change your diet dramatically to get rid of that real, real stubborn fat. So that's all I wanted to say about nutrition. And uh, well, there's a lot more to it, of course, and I wanna go in eventually talking about superfoods and other things you can do. Uh, you know, juicing and making smoothies and different kind of recipes and everything. And uh, why a plant-based diet is the best way to go even though I consume a little bit of meat still to this day. I uh, highly recommend trying ketosis, try sticking to something, come up with something you can do for the rest of your life every single day that you can bear. Because doing something temporarily is how you get temporary results. And no one wants to be skinny for a couple years and then get it all back. So much love guys, if you have any questions, feel free to holler at me. I am here for y'all. I love you. Namaste.